Okay, hi there. As part of your revision for microeconomics, papers one and paper three, it's really important to understand the key conditions and the formulae that you might be asked to use and define during a paper. So I'm going to take you through an A to Z of some of the key conditions and formulae for microeconomics theory of the firm. Allergies of efficiency is a type of efficiency where price equals marginal cost, where the price charged by a firm is equal to the value of factory inputs used in their supply. Now, this is achieved in perfect competition, but not in monopoly, monopoly competition, oligopoly, etc. Allocative of efficiency. Average cost, also known as cost per unit, is simply total cost divided by output. And another way of expressing it is to say that average cost is also equal to the average fixed cost plus the average variable cost. Average fixed cost is total fixed costs divided by output. TFC divided by Q. Now, because total fixed costs don't change with output in the short term, the average fixed cost will always fall as output increases in the short run. Average revenue is also known as the demand curve or the price. And average revenue or revenue per unit is simply total revenue divided by output. Average variable cost, or AVC, is total variable cost divided by output. TVC divided by Q. A key point here is that if there's a change in variable cost, for example, the price of raw materials or labour costs, that causes a shift both in AVC and also marginal cost. The break-even output for a firm is where the revenue per unit equals the cost per unit, or where total revenue is equal to total cost. And at the break-even output, normal profits are made. Marginal cost, MC, is the change in a firm's total costs as a result of a one-unit change in output. So it's delta TC over delta Q. It is rare in business for there to be a one-unit change in output. If you divide by the change in output, you get the marginal cost. Marginal product involves the change in total output that comes from employing an extra unit of production, in particular adding an extra unit of labour. A marginal product is important when explaining the law of diminishing returns. Marginal revenue, MR, is the change in total revenue divided by the change in output. Now, if the average revenue is falling, if the demand curve is downward sloping, the marginal revenue will always be below the average revenue and with a steeper gradient. Productive efficiency is another type of efficiency and it's achieved at the output where the unit cost or the average cost is minimised. Now we can see productive efficiency both in the short term and also in the long term if you're thinking about economies and diseconomies of scale. Profit maximisation is the output where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, where the marginal profit is zero. It's a key standard assumption of through the firm, but of course be prepared to challenge this assumption. Many firms have different objectives. One of them is revenue maximisation, and you maximise your business revenues when marginal revenue is zero. Now, when that's the case, you are halfway down your demand curve, the price elasticity of demand is unity, or the coefficient is 1. Sales growth maximisation is an alternative objective. You maximise your sales where average cost equals average revenue. You're trying to achieve the highest sales possible, subject to breaking even and therefore making normal profit. And finally, the shutdown price in the short run this is the price that equals the minimum of your average variable cost. We assume that in the short run, the first requirement, the first priority, if you like, is to cover your variable costs and then hopefully make a contribution to fixed costs if you can price higher than that. So the shutdown price is price equals minimum average variable cost. This only refers to the short run. In the long run, you have to make at least normal profit. In other words, you have to break even. Hopefully that's useful. Make sure you've got these down in your notes. These are the key conditions and formulae for this part of the course. Okay, thank you.